hello friends welcome to this session on accumulators we are going to discuss very interesting case study managing a fish pond in this session this case study has been referred from a book discovering computer science interdisciplinary problem principles and python programming by jason havel so let us start this session in this case study we have to manage a fish pond population and uh, it is given that initial population is 12,000 at the beginning of the year and with no fishing the fish population is expected to grow at a rate of 8% per year which incorporates both birth rate and death rate of the population so means fish population is expected to grow at 8% per year and in the beginning we have initial population of 12,000 along with this it is also given that maximum annual fishing harvest allowed is 1500 so we have to formulate the population formula to understand how the population of fishes is growing uh, on year by year basis for this particular pond our objective is to find out is our maximum annual harvest is sustainable or not and if not how long until the fish population dies out we wish to find out the year number at which the population will die out so based on these requirement we have to write a python program which can find out the population in pond after each year and we have to highlight the year at which the population uh, just become negative can you formulate the formula for population for this particular pond if yes take your time and frame a formula you can pause the video at this point and take your time to formulate this population formula so i hope you are ready with your population formula so let's decode it since initial population is given as 12,000 and it is mentioned that population is expected to grow at a rate of 8% per year. So here as we discussed in our previous session we can have a cumulated variable and population is growing at a rate of 8%. So it can be easily formulated in this way. The new population will be current population plus 0.8% of the existing population. So this is growth per year this is our current population so this will make our new population so each year our population is growing with this formula but what about harvesting so it is mentioned that harvesting is 1500 annual so it means we have to subtract this number from this population in order to get net population so the final formula will look like this so this is our harvesting this is our growth rate this is our current population so all of this will give us our population at the end of a year so this will give us new population so with this formula we can find out the population after each year so let's suppose if you wish to find out the population after one year we just need to apply this once if we wish to find out population after two years then we need to apply this two times so this will be population after one year then again next year the same operation performed and if we run this statement two times i will be getting the population after two years same way for population after three years i have to run this three times so i hope you have enough logic to solve this problem so you can frame a for loop which can find out the population for n number of years so please consider this as an assignment and uh, try to write a code which can uh, produce a table to show the population let's suppose for 25 years. So let's run this for 25 years and show what will be the population after each year. Take your time to solve this problem. I will see you in next session with the solution of this problem. But before that. Please try to solve it on your own and just compare your solution with the solution discussed in the next video session. Thank you. See you in next session. Bye-bye.